Um, under the login. I, under the user controller, login. First thing we're going to do is check if the model that the view is sending back to us is valid. Okay, and that has to do with those um, those requirements that we put inside the uh, um, those requirements that we put inside of the uh, the user model. Okay. Second, now we're going to check if it's valid. Now we're going to we're going to actually look at the password. Uh, make sure that the uh, the username and password make sure that exists in the database. So user, which is what we sent back, user dot um, email and user dot password. Okay. If that returns true. Then what are we going to do? We're going to do forms authentication dot set cookie user dot email and create a persistent cookie. I'm going to say false. And then we're going to simply redirect. to the main page, which is the index home. OK. And if that's not OK, if something goes wrong in there, then we're going to model state dot add model error login go ahead and put that inside a string login data is incorrect and then let's send the user back I think that's okay. Let's try. Let's try to go ahead and run that one more time. Log in. Continue. So Fabio, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I am not in the database yet. Oh, there's a problem here. The password's not supposed to show. So let's uh, let's, let's stop this really quick. And let's see what what happened here. Data type password. Data type password. That looks good. What happened? We're not supposed to see the password in there. And inside the login. Oh, this is not a text field. This is password for okay we should be okay now go ahead and run it one more time gonna log in it's going to generate that form go ahead and take that debug point out Fabio one two three four five six seven click login and let's step through it is the model valid yes it's valid now it's gonna try to um, it's gonna go to the database it's gonna pull that user out it's gonna come back null because there's no such user so it's gonna return false and the login is incorrect so then when we go back to our view I'm just gonna click continue here then you can say that the login information is incorrect. It's actually, it doesn't exist, but at this point it just says that it's incorrect. So let's go ahead and create the registration form so then we can actually create a new user. Okay. The registration form is very similar to the login form. So let's go to the user controller here. And 
I'm actually going to copy and paste this. Okay. Registration. We're going to remove a few things. So are we going to check if the uh, model state is valid? Yes, we're going to check for that. We're not going to do any check on the email and password right now. Actually, all this gone. The only thing we're keeping is the model. Yeah, never mind. So, so is the is the model valid? Yes, the model is valid. And I'm just going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to explain. I think that's a better way of doing it. Because instead of having me type the whole thing. So this is email. Okay, so when we do the registration, so when we, when we initially click on registration, we're simply going to display the registration form, which we haven't built yet. So let's do this part first. Registration, let's go ahead and build the registration. I'm going to copy and paste this in here. And simple login system models dot user model and uh, 